A journey of any kind is a process of steps, one after another. Some journeys are short, and others can last a lifetime. Some journeys are individual in nature, and some are corporate. Sometimes we know the exact destination of a journey, and on other occasions, each step is one of faith. As a church, we're on a journey together. Sometimes the steps have been easy, and sometimes they've been more challenging. The next part of our journey is both clear and exciting. While we've been on this journey for 12 years, it's now within the last six years that we see this journey coming to a completion. We are on the verge of moving into a new home together. But before we consider that, let's talk a little bit about some of the earlier steps in this journey together. The journey for most of us started here, the Curtis Community Complex. This is where we first began to meet as a body of believers. We were able to arrange to meet in this facility just as it was opening as a brand new community center. We were able to book the daycare inside for our children's program and make use of the huge indoor climber that became a magnet for children and young families. The main room where we met was a part of the Curtis Community Complex and every week we had to bring in our equipment from one of the homes of our core group members. Later we rented a storage unit and brought it in from there. But oh, those were great days. We would send out flyers and there were all kinds of community people that would come. And we developed some very creative aspects of who we were. We, we met at round tables and we had refreshments on arrival. We did things like uh, question of the week and, and table talk discussions and all of these kinds of things sort of made up the creative side of who we were. And one service led to two and two services led to a third pizza service and eventually we just ran out of space. And so we started looking for another location to meet and that led us to Lydia Troll Public School. Lydia Troll Public School has been our central home for much of our journey together. And while we've tried to extend ourselves into other locations, such as in Whitby at St. Charles Garnier High School, and Pickering at Vaughn Willard Public School, and in Ajax at Lincoln Avenue Public School, and in Oshawa at Pierre Elliott Trudeau School, this has always really been the base of the operation. And during our time here, we grew and started to experiment with all kinds of things, like the use of PowerPoint media, and Question of the Week, and Man on the Street interviews, and websites. We started Real to Real as a way to consider a Christian worldview to our culture, and most recently, Breakfast Club, as a unique way of bringing in targeted speakers over breakfast that could address various community needs. We started using Alpha and H2O as discipleship groups and setting up other small groups of various kinds. In all these ways, we attempted to reach out to our community, particularly to those who don't know Jesus. We also established partnerships with other groups, like Ritz and Road Alliance Church. Ritz and Road Alliance Church was one of two Alliance churches where our original core group members came from. And over time, we began to partner with Ritz and Road over a number of things, but probably most specifically with our children and youth group programs. Hi, I'm Linda Allison. Our youth have met here for many years. They've played games, they've led Bible studies, and held special events and retreats. This is also the location where we've hosted many of our children's camps, drama, writing, sports, and adventure, all with a view to helping young people come to know Christ. Hi, I'm Pastor Mike. Many of our baptisms have been held here at Ritson on Sunday afternoons. It's always been exciting to see our children, youth, and adults follow Jesus in the waters of baptism. A number of years ago, we also held many leadership meetings here. The idea was to look for new and innovative ways to introduce people to Jesus. Due to the close proximity of this building to Nanquan, that's where we began our new initiative. Here's the hall in Nanquan. We've hosted several events here for children, youth, and families. Our influence has continued to grow. We've partnered with other churches and, and church planting organizations like Move In. Our passion as a church has always been to reach the people who we come in contact with, regardless of where they stand socially or financially. Someone has said that when God closes one door, He always opens another. Six years ago, we started to consider various possibilities of finding a facility of our own. 
and it was never with the idea of building a traditional church facility. Rather, our goal was to create a community center where we could impact the community in a whole variety of different ways. And while we had high hopes for a relocation to Taunton Road, after much effort, work, and expense, we came to realize that that project was not to be. But when God says no to one thing, He often says yes to something else. Today we are excited about all the possibilities that exist with our purchase of Harmony United. In the end, God provided us with almost twice the size of building that we could have had anywhere else for about half the cost. Now instead of on one major roadway, we're on two. Before, we would have been on the outskirts of town, now we are in the center of the action. Our vision to be a ministry center to the community could not be better situated. God has provided us with a number of community partners who will be leasing space. This is going to help us in creating our dream of a community center where we can present Christ to the community. Together we are excited about what God is going to do in this place. Hi, I'm Herb Goldsmith from Educate's Child Care Centers. We are very excited about working with your team and developing plans for our partnership. Uh, Educates Child Care Centers operate 16 centers in Durham and our staff is thrilled that we will be opening our 17th center at the corner of King and Harmony in Oshawa at the Harmony Creek Community Center. Hello, my name is Carolyn Paget. I am co-owner of Upscale Music Studios. We are very excited about moving to Harmony Creek Community Center this fall, especially with their emphasis on the arts. We love to teach music and are excited about sharing our passion and the joy of music with our students. Hi, I'm Lori Martin from Literacy and Evangelism International. As an international ministry, we're really excited to be moving our Canadian office to Harmony Creek Community Center. Um, not only will this give us a local presence for our literacy and English language ministries, but, the, but Harmony Creek will provide us with the, the space and facilities we need to continue to grow our impact in Canada and around the world. Hi, I'm Reg Ketty. I'm a member of LifePoint Church, also the chairman of the building committee. As an electrical contractor, the part of this project that really gets me excited is a solar panel installation on our roof. These panels will generate electricity that will benefit the community, the environment, and the ministry of LifePoint Church. For the next 20 years, these panels will generate electricity. The excess electricity is sold back to the grid, and those funds will be used for the ministry of LifePoint Church. Hi, my name is Melanie Hartshorn Walton, and I am the owner and operator of Durham Wedding Chapels, where we focus on events such as weddings and performances and concerts. I'm looking forward to moving my organization this year to Harmony Creek Community Centre. I look forward to celebrating with community members as they mark significant events in their lives. Hi, I'm Greg Van Kruneberg. I'm a worship leader and I oversee the worship ministry at LifePoint Church. The team and I are very excited to be able to engage our congregation in extended worship. We are also looking forward to the opportunity for creative worship experiences using alternative media such as painting and dance, video production, and thought-provoking drama, all in an environment that includes beautiful stained glass windows and uh, state-of-the-art technology, such as sound and lighting. This will create for us a worship place that is very unique in the city of Oshawa at 15 Harmony Road North. Hello, my name is Shelley. And did you know in North America that American Sign Language is the fourth most used language? And that our deaf community that attends the church, and I've been, been gone for many, many years, our deaf community has really grown in numbers over the years. At the church, we have an interpreter every Sunday. Different interpreters come forth and take turns. We also have someone else that's there that uh, does a PowerPoint for us so we can follow along with the songs and we have an opportunity, it's all access. 
the deaf worship group at uh, our church is really quite large compared to some of the other uh, communities in Ontario. And now we're so excited to be moving into our new building. It's actually really close to the Durham Deaf Services, which is located on King Street East, just, just down the road from the Harmony Church. So our church, the Life Point Church, really welcomes everybody in the deaf community to join us. And we join all together as members. And really, we join all together under Jesus. It's all for Jesus, right? So we hope to see a larger group. And we welcome everyone. Hi, I'm Jefferson Fowler. And I just want to say I am so excited for what we're going to do in this new building. We're going to be able to do so many fun activities inside the gym and have devotional times in small groups. And the fact that we're going to be able to spend time together and really worship God as a group as in as a unit is going to be so fun and we're just so excited for all the possible possibilities that this building has. With a permanent facility, our ability to reach out to different people groups will be greatly enhanced. 15 Harmony Road North gives us both exposure and opportunity to have a bigger impact for Jesus Christ. It's a great facility that will allow us to reach out to youth, adults and children with the message of Christ. We look forward to our new location on the corner of Harmony Road and King Street. The journey for us continues step by step to Harmony Road. We want to follow Jesus where He has provided. He is so good. We will move as He leads. We will love who He loves. And we want to serve as He served. We will trust in Him as we give away our lives we find them again in Him. This vision of a missional ministry will require our financial commitment. It will require some sacrifice on our part at a financial level. So much has already been done. So many people have come alongside. So much has already been achieved. But it now requires us to stand up and do our part as well. The vision is at hand. It is there before us. God bless you as you consider what God is saying to you about the part that He wants you to play in our Imagine campaign together.